Wow, folks, are you seeing what I'm seeing? A giant puffball mushroom, Galvatia gigantia. Here, let me pick it and give you a closer look. This is awesome. This is what we're out here to find. Check this out. At the farmer's market, this one specimen would fetch about $100. You heard me right, $100. Gourmet chefs around the world would kill to have this thing. Uh, meaty texture, woodsy flavor. Some people swear that these are the best tasting mushrooms there are. You can do so many things with this. You can slice it and deep fry it. You can saute it. Um, it's a, it's a, just a great texture. Some people slice them up real thin and use it on pizza. It, and if you cook it right, it almost has a mozzarella taste and texture. Um, this is about a 10 inch specimen. And as I mentioned, about a hundred bucks for this thing. That's why we're out here. Foraging for edibles, folks. This is the future. The future is now. Let me tell you a couple of cool facts about this thing. The biggest one ever found was 8 feet in diameter. 48 pounds. That's crazy. Can you imagine walking up on something like that? I think I'd run the other way. But uh, uh, I'll tell you another really cool fact about this. Inside of here, this will eventually die and go to spore. That's how they spread. But inside of here is about 7 trillion spores. Here's a cool fact. If this one specimen propagated every spore, all 7 trillion spores, and they grew to this size, they would cover the earth 8 times over. I love nature. I just love that stuff. That is so cool. Hey, this is the Ninja Shroomer. We're out here looking for this. This is an edible. This is what we're out here for. The future, folks, right here in the futures now. Come along with me. We're going to see what else we can find. Come on. Let's bag this one up first, then we'll move on. Do I act excited? Because I am. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, I should have brought my big bag. But this will work. $100 in the bag, folks. All right. Come on. Let's move on.